welcome EWM newbies and career changers. This video is specifically for you, but not only for you, it is also for those of you who are helping to onboard people to EWM. To sum it up, I'm pretty sure that Hinder provides value again to all of you. So stay with him for the next 10 to 15 minutes and see for yourself. Hello and welcome to the first video of a new series on my YouTube channel here as well as on my blog. My name is still Hendrik and I'm very happy to have you here with a video which helps you and gives you tips about how to actually learn SAP EWM or how to start with SAP EWM. I decided to make a video about this question or the answer to this questions because these are ones which were raised quite frequently in the past, not only by newcomers, so people that have not worked with SAP or EWM at all, but also for, let's say, career changes, so developers or consultants working in different modules so far, for example, only working in the EAP system with, for example, MMSD or PP, who are interested in the world of warehousing and want to take the first steps into the EWM module. So for all of you, this video, the next 10 minutes, give you some tips and I hope that you will benefit from this as part of the next steps of your career. So this is not a technical or neither functional video like you know it from this channel, but rather some tips based on the experience that I made uh, over the last 10 plus years of uh, the work as an EWM consultant. Let's start with the first and probably most important one, which is the understanding of intralogistics and warehousing processes. I really recommend to you not uh, to touch EWM or start working on EWM without having a basic understanding of warehousing. Now, what do I mean with this? It's actually everything that happens within a warehouse. Yeah, so the actual business processes, starting from the receiving up until the shipping on the other end, is something that you need to understand before you start touching the customizing or the code or whatever. You can do this, of course, yeah? but you will uh, highly benefit from this understanding of, let's say, the real world processes. And you can easily get this. Yeah? You, do, you can do internships, part-time jobs, uh, at least here in Germany or Europe, almost every warehouse operation is in search for interns or part-time uh, workers and you should dedicate a part of your educational time to really understand what's happening within the warehouses. I promise you that you will greatly benefit. It is the best argument for every interview in the area of, of SAP EWM, no matter whether you are applying for a role as a developer or a consultant, if you can argue with having experience, actual physical experience within the warehouse that will give you a big competitive advantage above other applicants who do not have this experience. And it will also help you a lot in understanding the system processes, configurations, especially when it is about configuring the system based on business process requirements that you will receive later from your, your customers or business teams. Second thing, once you have a good understanding of the, the intralogistics and warehousing processes, you are ready to start touching the system. And I do recommend that you explore the SAP EWM best practices before you actually work on any project specific requirements. Those might be very complex, that might be very project, customer, industry specific. And it is always helpful to understand the best practices and 
With this, I also have a good understanding of, of what the EWM standard delivers in terms of functionality, functionalities and processes. And that's, it, that's, that's pretty simple, yeah? You can, if you, even if you don't have a system, if you don't have a um, running project right now, even if you are like freelancer or even if you don't have a SAP job or education at all right now, you can rent a sub EWM system. Yeah, you can Google for IDES system and you will find plenty of providers that offer you cloud systems that you can access and they always have a fully activated appliance active which has all the best practices. Now you can clarify that question up front but usually those service providers offer you systems with the best practices. You then have an S user or create a P user for the uh, sub online support system and for the process navigator you can access those best practices. SAP delivers well uh, documented process flows, flow charts as well as click instructions for the best practices. You can download that stuff and simply go through all the process flows uh, step by step and then connect the dots to what you saw in the, in the warehouse based on your practical experiences. Now, I didn't mention that before. Of course, you can also sit in a warehouse and just observe. Yeah, I mentioned the part-time jobs or internships, but that's not mandatory. Of course, you can just start with observing. Uh, that will also do it for you, at least as a first step. But here, that the, the usage of the best practices enables you to connect the dots between the theory and what you see, what you saw within the warehouse. And again, second, second good argument in your interview, if you, if you have experience in the real world and if you then also um, explain to the company you are applying for or the HR team or the, the EWM team you are sitting in front of that you also experience and work with EWM best practices and have a good understanding of what the EWM standard offers here, and that would be a great argument within the application of your first EWM job. Tip number three. Quick break at this point, I'm sorry upfront for interrupting. We just wanted to mention again that Hendrik's motivation to create this content mainly comes from you subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button for his videos. So we would appreciate it if you could take a second of your time to actually do that now before you enjoy the rest of this video. Thanks so much and back to Hendrik. Tip number three, and this is one which everybody is looking forward to or once you decided to work with EWM, and that's your first project. Yeah, once you have a good understanding of, of warehousing as such, once you have an understanding and uh, a first feeling of the EWM best practices, yeah, jump into your first project. We should work alongside an experienced consultant or developer that can help you with the first steps and that you can learn from. But it is, it is very important, I think, that you treat your first one or two projects, at least for the first 12 months, as part of your learning journey. Yeah, so this is not about uh, earning a lot of money, and this is not about making everything right and making no mistakes. This is, this is all part of the learning. EWM is as complex as many of the other modules that SAP offers. And it's important, I think, that you embrace all kinds of tasks, yeah, even the ones that look stupid on the first spot. There is always something to learn from in it. And you will make a lot of mistakes. And in the SAP world, <laughs> everything is about try and error. <laughs> Those are constants while working with SAP, but just stay positive, be patient, take every error or mistake that you make as an opportunity to learn from. At least based on my experience, the bigger the, the mistakes are that you make, the, the less <laughs> possibility to make them again. So when you start with your first projects, keep in mind the, the first ones are for education, they are for making mistakes. Yeah, be patient. It takes some time to, to grasp everything. Last one is a point which you should run concurrently in parallel to the last uh, to, to the to last two tips here. Yeah, so the ones before were kind of uh, sequenced. Yeah, one after the other, and this one should should run in parallel while you are working on the projects. Yeah, so 
once you have identified the project and the work packages that you have on your table for let's say the next 12 months that's that's at least how i do it i check okay what what are the topics from business and functional perspective and then for those topics i specifically pick the theoretical content and study that now i do not recommend to fight with this complex theory without having a corresponding project or work package yeah so for example you are working for a project where you know you are responsible to stage the components for production um, supply process and knowing this you can now pick the book and the chapter in the book which explains the different options about production integration with SAP EWM. You can read through the blogs and you can even uh, subscribe or register for an online training about PP integration into SAP EWM, for instance. All this theory would not be sticky and would not help you without having the projects. And the project itself would probably not be successful without studying the theory. So always try to make a fit here and select and pick the theory based on what you have on your table and in your pipeline for the near future. In the video description you will find a couple of links to sources that I use that I recommend apart <laughs> of course apart from my blog and YouTube channel I can recommend the community blog so the SCM community uh, has a lot of content a lot of people are uh, really passionate and active there and you will find on average two three four newly created and released blog posts from well-experienced developers or consultants and you can use your preferred search engine to search by the keywords and you will find blogs from the SCM community here. In addition to this of course there are the SAP EWM books from SAP Press uh, so you get them on the website from SAP Press you will get them on Amazon you will get ebooks and apart from that, you can also, of course, uh, register at the SAP Learning Hub. There's a learning journey specifically for SAP EWM. I actually do not recommend to go on-premise, let's say, to visit SAP for the courses simply due to the fact that it's very expensive to go there and uh, pay a couple of K euros just to be there for two or three days and sit in a classroom. So alternatively to the classroom trainings, you can also buy access to the learning hub itself and then you can click through whatever courses or trainings you uh, think are helpful based on the given pipeline of your project work packages. That's it for, um, I think, uh, tips as a practical guideline for beginners, for you newcomers or for my career changes, of course, and that should be obvious, the intensity of each step greatly varies depending on your individual prior experiences. Yeah? If you have worked with, let's say, WM before, and if you spend a lot of time within the warehouses before, you might want to skip step one or two. You will find your find your way, yeah. So this is uh, designed for somebody who is really starting from scratch. And if you are not starting from scratch, you should have a good understanding about which steps to skip here. And I try to make it comprehensive, summarize what was helpful for me on my journey uh, throughout the last ten to fifteen years, and uh, gave you the the most important ones here. To squeeze it into one or two sentences to close this video and blog post. Just keep in mind, really becoming proficient here in this area always involves an integration of theory and practice. Align and synchronize what you are doing in the system and the project along with what you see in the real world. And last but not least, again, be patient. Don't get, don't get frustrated during the early steps especially. It is a complex system. You make a lot of mistakes but you will learn from them and at some point it, <laughs> it uh, really um, is something that you 
will probably enjoy. I think it's a, a system or a module of a system which offers a wide range of variety and a wide range of possible projects, industries and um, yeah, countries, people, cultures you can, can work on and work with. So it's worth it to take the step and I, I wish you all the best and I hope the tips that I gave you here will help you on your journey. With that, hope to see you again with the next video and wish you a good time with SAP. Bye-bye.